guys, today I wanted to share with you my favorite products from the month of January, which is exciting. I think I always say that, but last month was more of like a favorites from the year, so I really didn't get to do like specific favorites from that month, so I'm excited to do this, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I bought this eyeshadow a long time ago. Uh, well, not a long time ago, a couple months back. I went to dinner with a couple of my friends, and one of them who is um, Vanessa, I'd never met her before, but I knew her from Twitter, and then her and my friend, Ashley, we all kind of, um, her and Ashley started talking, and then um, but me and Vanessa had always talked on Twitter, and she lives in Atlanta, so it was kind of like we all met up, and it was really fun. Um, Vanessa told me about this, and it is by Chanel, and it's called Fauve. I'm going to cover up the, well, the mirror's not going to really matter. But I hope you can really tell how pretty it is. It's purple, and it kind of has like, it's like a grayed purple, and it has this really pretty shimmer to it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you can see it's like, it's so beautiful. It's like a grayed, shimmery purple. Anyways, I'm wearing it today, and it's one of those colors that you can just wear by itself, and you just one color on your lid, and it kind of like changes color and looks really pretty, and I really love it. You can make it look more dramatic or more sheer. Today I made it look a little more sheer. But it's a really good color. Chanel eyeshadows are kind of expensive. But I really think that one's worth it because it's very unique and I love it. The Maybelline Color Tattoo, um, the new little paint pot type things, are amazing. I have Bad to the Bronze and Toughest Taupe, which I don't know where Toughest Taupe is. I think it's in my drawer. But um, I own... And that's Waylon throwing his toys down the stairs. Um, I have been telling people that I actually prefer these to MAC paint pots and the reason is because the formula is much more pigmented I mean it's just it's crazy and I find that they don't crease as badly paint pots everybody says they don't crease they do a little bit if you've got oily lids it's kinda hard to find things that don't crease if you've got oily lids but I really find that that kind of dries to a more like drier finish, um, and I really love it. This Bad to the Bronze color is amazing, and I actually use it a lot just day to day just on its own, and I don't even put anything over it. It's so gorgeous. And it's almost like a taupe-ish color when you put it on. The toughest taupe is very gray, like very, yeah, very like cool gray. This is just a very pretty frosted taupe, and I really love it. Um, it's really not bronzy as much as it is taupe. But I, I love it and I think it's a gorgeous color. And actually these two pair nicely together. The next product is really good for breakouts, which my skin has been breaking out a bit lately, more than usual. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Stress, hormones, who knows. Um, but I really only break out like around my chin here and there and then like sometimes like right here. But I never break out on my cheeks. Um, usually but yeah it's not super bad or anything but I really don't like to if I have like a breakout I don't like to pick at it and this is gross and you get like the whiteheads and stuff I don't like to pick at though I think it's totally disgusting um and touching my face is just weird anyways like I, I'm all for it like when I do makeup and stuff that's different but through the day I just have this phobia I don't like to touch my face um I don't like other people touching my face it's just very weird I don't know what it is but um, I don't like touching breakouts. I don't like doing all that. This is a product that I re recently repurchased. This is a brand new bottle. I used it a couple times since I got it. But I had used my old one so much that the Q-tip wouldn't even reach the pink part anymore. Like there just wasn't any left. And it's the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. And over the past couple weeks, I've really used up my old one. So I wanted to get this. Um, they come in. You can get a plastic bottle or a glass bottle. I just like the glass one because it's pretty. Um, but basically it has alcohol, calamine, camphor, sulfur, salicylic acid, zinc, and something else. Talc, just stuff I guess that holds it together. But basically it just dries up your pimples. Like if you've got a, really there's no point in using it unless if it's a zit or something that has like a white hood on it. Um, if you put it like on a red, something red that's just coming up, it's not really going to matter. In my experience, it doesn't really help. But if you are about to go to bed and you've rinsed off your makeup and you see that you've got like a whitehead or something, you can dab this on there and in the morning the whitehead will be gone. And I'm totally a skeptic about stuff like that. 
It's not going to disappear a pimple that's like red or something that's just red, but it will take the white out of the pimple and it's really nice. I love it. It keeps you from picking at your skin, keeps scars from happening from that. Um, but yeah, that's how I kind of keep my skin looking like smooth and stuff. I just don't pick at stuff, and it really hugely makes a difference, and this keeps me from having to do that. But you have to be really careful. I've talked about this, I think, in a video a long time ago when I was trying to use Mario Badescu skincare completely, which I don't really like anything else they make except for this. Um, you take a Q-tip and you literally... You don't shake it, you let it, you know, you keep it like that. You just take it to Q-tip and you dip it down into the pink, and then when you lift it back up, you just dab the pink on your face. So that's great stuff. And this is so funny because the last couple of months, you guys will probably think I've lost my mind with foundations because for years I've used the same thing, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I've talked about how it's just my most, like, favorite foundation. It's awesome. I'd never try anything else. But then I used the Maybelline Instant Angel Wine. This is my second little thingy of this. The Neutrogena Healthy Skin, which is in my drawer. Um, what else did I use? I think that was it that I tried. Um, but anyways, I love those products. I've pretty much talked nonstop about them for the last couple months. They're amazing products. Well, then it's just funny because, you know, you use something for a while, and then when you go back to using what you used to use, you can see such a difference, and it really kind of, I don't know, once you get used to something, it just really makes it, you really kind of understand why you liked it so much. And I'm not bashing this by any means. I'm not saying, oh, this is awful. But the last couple weeks I've started to use my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. And the shade I'm using right now is 30. I'm between, I use either, I always have 30 and 40. I most of the time mix them together because 35 is actually too pink and darker than 40 on me. But most of the time I just use 30. I love this stuff so much. Like when I use it the first time after using the other foundations it was like such a difference and I love it and now it's gonna be hard for me to go back to use those I'm not bashing those I think they're amazing and they're by far my favorite drugstore foundations and I'm still gonna use them but I'm I've fallen back in love with my old friend but I will say I've talked about this probably every favorites video but the Insta Age Rewind concealer the under eye concealer is the best concealer of all time and I will keep using that until I find something that's better but I've never used anything that I like as much as this for the under eye area um, the under eye area only don't use it on your face I mean I guess you could but I don't know I have been loving the benefit Hervana I know I showed this in a haul video but this is amazing stuff I actually have been using a little brush sometimes I know I say that I always throw those out but the old ones were really like flat across the top and just would leave kind of like streaks on your face. This one's really soft and the bristles feel nice and I like that it's angled and it's just kind of fluffy and it works good. But um, I use that sometimes. Oh, okay. I use that sometimes. I use a brush sometimes. A bigger brush. Um, Waylon keeps freaking me out. He's like walking over there. Um, but the colors are gorgeous. I love it so much. It just blends to the most prettiest color. And I've, no joke, been using it every single day. Unless if I do a tutorial or something, I've used a different color. I've used this every single day. MAC, a couple months ago, I remember telling you they had sent me, because they send me stuff to review every now and then, I've talked about that before. But these eyeshadows, the um, Pro Longwear eyeshadows, I didn't even like really review them or think they were anything super special right away. Because I don't really like doing that. I'm, I don't like doing reviews just for the sake of reviews. Unless if it's something truly amazing that I've, you know, and then it's genuine. But I like to kind of form my opinion based on, like, using it for a while. I know sometimes that sucks because things may not be available after I have the time to do that. But I kind of gauge it. And I feel like these are things that are going to be available so you guys can still get these. But the Carefree I've talked about so much. I love it on the eyes, on my cheeks. You can use it as um, a highlighter. They're very large. Like, this is a normal size MAC eyeshadow. They're large. And I love it. Um, but yeah, I I love this Carefree color, but I've started using the other colors. The Make Your Mark that I used in my last tutorial um, is the most perfect brown. I absolutely love it. I really love the formula of these. And all the colors are, like, right up my alley, or at least all the colors I have. This is awesome. Keep Your Cool. It's, like, a darkened gray and it's amazing. Um, I feel like just these colors I could use and never need anything else. I know that's insane to say because I obviously need all of this stuff that I have, but I really love these colors. And then I have the purple, which is called plush, and purple is probably my favorite actual color to use on myself, like eyeshadow-wise. 
And then Weathered, which is this gorgeous, like, muted blue, but it's still really pretty. These I am kind of in love with, especially the Carefree and the Make Your Mark and the Keep Your Cool. These are really pretty. I haven't noticed anything in the way of, like, them lasting a long time because they are the Pro Long Wear eyeshadows. are supposed to, like, be really long wearing, but they're great, and I find that they are working great for me. I love the formula. Um, I have become obsessed with my Star Nova Luster Gloss again. I've been wearing it basically every day. This is a longtime favorite of mine that I've talked about, I'm sure, years and years ago. But I love it. It's perfect. I'm wearing it today. It's the perfect lip gloss, like, if you want a bit of color. Um, it's kind of plummy, but it is really pretty. Perfect lip gloss. Love it. All skin tones could wear that, and yeah, it's great. And I will talk about one more MAC thing, the Mineralized Charged Water Hydrating Mist. This stuff is cool. I do have the Fix Plus, which I use just for, like, setting makeup and stuff. I actually keep this one in my bathroom, and I do that because sometimes... I don't want to put on like a full out moisturizer or I put my Vitazine moisturizer on in the morning and I'm not going to really put on a heavy moisturizer. This is nice because I can spray it on my skin when it's feeling tight and it makes it feel comfortable. You can use it over makeup, over whatever. And it's just a different formula than the Fix Plus and I really like it. Um, I think some things are kind of gimmicky as far as like makeup setting sprays and things like that. But this really does make my skin feel comfortable. It says it's hydrating. Um, so I was kind of skeptical of that, but it really does make my skin feel comfortable, and I like it. And I've been using it like crazy. Um, it's gone down a little bit, but I think it's going to last a long time. So you get a lot for the money. I think it's worth it. Um, so that's all that I'm going to talk about. I did buy this Urban Decay D-Slick Oil Control, and I'll talk about that later because I haven't really tried it enough to really make a call one way or the other. One day I thought it worked amazing and I was like, oh my gosh, I swear by this stuff. And then I used it again one day and it didn't really do anything. So I'm trying to kind of figure out what I think about that. Um, hair sticking out. So I hope that you guys had a very great month of January. A lot of exciting things are coming up soon that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, I'm really excited about the year ahead. Lots of cool things coming up. Um, so I hope that you guys had a great month and I will talk to you all soon.